such a great gathering of souls in our generation. Unique, special, beautiful individuals that can be defined as truth seekers desiring the truth with all their might, with all their power, sources and energy, throwing all kinds of distractions, lusts and desires behind their backs, aiming their hearts to a great holy purpose, knowing the Maker who made us, desiring Him in great passion, and dedicating our lives for that to find such a unique, special, full of energy, powerful group that not only that that fantastic group exists, also they are separated in their locations and that's part and main very important essential part of their mission our mission that like a gigantic web we are surrounding the world covering it and with great positive energy we are illuminating this world from within. Our power to do so is based on our spiritual structure, the inner godly souls of ours that are connected from within, behind all curtains of creation, and over there we're all holding hands and sharing an endless spring of energy and positive power that we are expressing and spreading out to the world by expressing our simple talents, our skills, our abilities our honest talks, simple prayers, sharing our deepest, honest feelings, thoughts, emotions, expressing our truthful conclusions and our most deepest understandings. By doing that, we're bringing out from the spiritual dimension of our souls, that root of our souls that is gathered in the sea of souls, the sea of wisdom. From that holy place we're pulling out, drawing buckets on buckets of pure water, like the verse is saying, Shifchi libech kamaim nochach pene Adonai, pour your heart as water in front of the face of Hashem. And that's what we do. We are uplifting, bringing up from the spiritual world to physicality, to this earthen world, buckets of spiritual water that are purifying washing, cleansing, cleaning, all kinds of mess, all kinds of filth, all kinds of darkness, we're washing it away with the pure intentions of our hearts, with our simple words, with the spiritual hugs and amazing unconditional love that we're spreading and because that we are so well connected to the other and we are cooperating and holding spiritual hands together,
with our loving bonding and connection. By doing that, we're spreading the inner light from the core of creation to the outside layer of the physical world. And we are washing the darkness and the lie away from the world. We're rejecting all kinds of evil, of sadness, of depression, all aspects of loneliness, of separation, of isolation, all lies and scams that are here to sabotage the godly unity by making poor people believe that they are divided individuals. We, like the children of Israel, that sat around him on his bed and said, Shema Israel, listen our father Israel. Adonai, the God that you believe in, Elohenu, is our God as well. And we believe that Adonai, as you know him, Echad, he is one. Even though we are many, all the children of Israel, we have one faith that is strong and solid as yours. And until today, that clear mindset did not move one inch from our hearts, from our awareness. Some of the souls were distracted, were pulled away, but those heroes of power, the defenders of the crown, the truth seekers, never forgot about Hashem. And even if they fell into a world of forgetfulness, and they lost track in their childhood, in their youth, they woke up. And even if more years passed on them in deep sleep and complete darkness, those souls meant to wake up in their 40s, in their 60s, in their 80s. They are waking up because it's their mission. And we are souls that does not have the ability to go back. We are winners and we came to fight and to conquer and to bring complete redemption for the great, great happiness of all creations. We do not have no self-pleasure from this work. We're sacrificing our own lives for that effort. We do the maximum that we can. We go to sleep very late at night. We wake up very early each morning. And all our days are full of labor, suffering. Great effort we're putting to that mission of saving the souls who relate to us in that inner passion of connecting themselves to the source of truth, to the source of goodness, to Hashem, the maker of the world. In the end of time, when the show will end and only the truth shall be revealed, all the godly souls, all the souls that held godly portion within them will join us with no exceptions and all those dark figures who present themselves as souls while being just negative forces with evil intentions they will all find themselves being fold with the rest of physicality down to 
the unknown places and their voices will never be heard anymore. But us, we will sing and praise Hashem forever for His kindness and for His goodness. And the dance that we shall all dance together will be above time, will be eternal. It will be for over 1,000 years of redemption to the great stage of infinity. And we will all dance in one great, gigantic, endless circle surrounding the real King and His Kingship in the house of Hashem that will be called the house of prayer to all nations and all the honest souls will get there and all the animals and all the flowers and trees, all the water and earth and fire, all the energy will be united in great harmony to serve Hashem, to praise Him, to know Him and to call Him in His name. And we shall do that surrounded by all our beloved ones in the time of the resurrection of the dead when all ancient souls will reunite and that dance will be the greatest pleasure that was ever experienced by creations in this lifetime and it will uplift us to that stage that is beyond time and beyond place slash space and we will all be completely united seeing Hashem recognizing Him and saying Ze Hashem kivinulo this is Hashem, we were waiting for Him. Chikinu. We were waiting. Kivinu. We were hoping. Tsipinu. We were expecting Him to come. Nagila benismecha bishuato. Then we will be happy. We're going to be thankful. We're going to praise Him for His salvation for the fact that He will save us and for His own redemption. For Him as a parent to see the joy and happiness of His children is an aspect of redemption, of Hashem redemption. For your salvation, we were waiting all day long. May we see that with our healthy eyes, with our happy hearts and wishing souls, in our days with all our loved ones. Amen. Ken Yehi Ratzon.